Well, we have your questions from our chat room, and we'd like to take some time to address them now. Pat, this is Andreas, who says, I have a friend whose wife suffers from Alzheimer's. She doesn't even recognize him anymore, and as you can imagine, the marriage has been rough. My friend has gotten bitter at God for allowing his wife to be in that condition, and now he started seeing another woman. He says that he should be allowed to see other people because his wife, as he knows her, is gone. I'm not quite sure what to tell him. Please help. Oh, that is a terribly hard thing. It is, I, th I, I hate Alzheimer's. It, it is one of the most awful things because here's the loved one. This is the woman or man that you have loved for 20, 30, 40 years, and suddenly that person is gone. Mm -hmm. They're gone. They are gone. So what he says basically is correct. But I, I know it sounds cruel, but he's, he, if he's going to do something, he should divorce her and start all over again. But, uh, you know, to make sure she has custodial care and somebody looking after her. But isn't that the vow that we take when we marry someone? That it's yeah, for better, well, for worse, for richer, for poorer? I know. It's, if, if you respect that vow, but you say it'll death do us part, this is the kind of death. So that's what he's saying is that she's like, mm. but <clears throat> this is an ethical question that is beyond my ken to, to, to tell you, but I certainly wouldn't put a guilt trip on you if you decided that, you know, you had to have companionship, you're lonely, and you're asking for some companionship as opposed to, but what a grief. I know one man who went to see his wife every single day, and she didn't recognize him one single day, and she would complain that he never came to see her, and I mean, it was just, you know, it's really hurtful because they say crazy things. Yeah. And they, well, they see well things, she too. finally she finally died. I don't know what he's done, but nevertheless, it's a, it is a terribly difficult thing for somebody, and I I, I can't fault them fault them for wanting some kind of uh, uh, companionship. And if he says, in a sense, she is gone, he's right. It's like it's like a walking death. So, but. Yeah. Uh, Get some ethicist besides me to give you the answer. I, I recognize the dilemma, and the last thing I'd do is condemn you for taking that kind of action. All right. This is Chris.